Welcome back to the channel everybody, this is another episode of Fate and as you already know, Fate is a series of videos and I used to talk about different stuff, explanations and uh, more uh, details about some specific problems or stuff and you wanna contact me, go to Instagram, look for Francisco Maya YouTube and you know what to do next, any questions or anything specific you wanna ask me, you can do it there so today I have this 2012 Freilander Cascadia with a DD15 engine the problem is uh, then uh, the driver says then he was driving, cruising over the 10 freeway, and suddenly everything shut down. And uh, he tried to start the engine back, and the only thing he heard was like clack, clack, clack noise. So he said then the bodies were bad. So, but anyway, today I'm going to show you what happened to this uh, Freelander with a D15 engine, and I want to explain why this happened and how you can find out if this happened to your truck if you are a truck owner this is the way you want to find out if it is a driver's failure or it is just a truck uh, you know something happened to the truck but we're gonna start by this the problem with the truck is then uh, it is uh, frozen the engine is gone so uh, how do you find out that that's pretty simple because once you do crank to the engine, you just do clack, clack, clack because the engine is completely stuck. It doesn't move left or right. And there is another way. On this side, the, is the easiest way because you can do, you can go underneath the vehicle and remove the leader service plate for the flywheel, and then you can, you can rotate it there. But over here is the easiest way, which is the alternator. Over here you can see the alternator, and you're gonna use this 15, 16 socket like this and a ratchet, a pretty long ratchet, and then you're gonna rotate it like this. See, this one doesn't move at all. You can hear the bell doing pressure, but it doesn't move. See, if you have a problem then the engine shut down for any reason, and uh, you don't know the problem, you, you think that the engine is the problem, so the first thing you have to do is rotate the engine. If the engine rotates, that means that it's not the engine, it's something else. So, so that's the way you're gonna find out if the uh, engine uh, it is uh, frozen. In this case, that's the easiest way. I mean, as I said, you can go under and you're gonna feel that the uh, engine is hard to rotate. Uh, but there is no question that there is a problem uh, with the engine. But uh, the process doesn't stop here. The process of finding out the problem with this engine doesn't stop here because you can just say, okay, the engine just stop. But why? this happen that is the good question that's the question that i want to answer to you because that's the question that you have to ask yourself when this happens so today i'm going to show you how you can find out how this engine died so let's go for it so for that we need the ddl software and to go inside the cab to see the computer data so let's go in we need to connect the truck with the computer so let's go for it and we have to wait until anything gets connected we have the uh, data of the computers here so what i have to do is go straight to the fault codes there is uh, there is one fault code active here for the engine so let's see what it is we see here there is a code in red that means that it's active it says engine oil pressure low when there is a low oil pressure that means that the pressure is higher than 10 psi like probably like 12 in idle but when it is on, on with higher rpm when it's low oil pressure that means then the pressure could be between the 15 and 20 depending so uh th that's the only code that is active as you can see there is no other code there is these codes are over here, low coolant, low coolant, low voltage, and all those codes. But this is the only code that is active. You can clearly see it's active. So let's find out what happened to this. So we want to click on this plus sign over here. And we want to have all the information here. It says that it happened 6, 6 11. That's when it happens. And June, June 11, it happens there. See, so you can see the time and everything that's the first time it happens and the last time it happens so it is one time code so 
we want to go over here see this part over here it says extended data record one counter so we want to see how many times it happens see it happens only once it happens only one time so that is uh according just happened when this problem happened at all the, the, before that never happened uh before this so let's see over here we have the time stamp over here this is the time of the engine not much information about it. physical data we have over here boost pressure and everything but we don't have all pressure here we have other stuff the percentage of load it was like super high uh load on the engine because it was getting stuck it was getting frozen so the engine needed a lot of and we can see it was moving when this happened see 48 miles per hour the engine was running uh wanna see here see this was the old pressure when this fall last time recorded 16 psi and the rpm this engine was let's see the rpm see the rpm was this see 1423 uh that was the rpm and the oil pressure was 16 so that means and that was the reason why the engine frozen because the uh, the oil pressure was super low versus the rpm you were getting at this rpm the oil pressure should be around 50 around 50 psi and this was 16 psi which was super low this is how many seconds this uh falls is being acted see 991 seconds that's a lot of time um it's been active because it's still active right now because it hasn't been cleared but when i first checked this fall when the engine had this problem it was active for 200 seconds so that's like four minutes something like that so this engine run with no pressure with, with low pressure for four minutes around that time so i can clearly see the reason why this engine fall i mean uh got destroyed this happened because the driver didn't pay attention on the oil pressure when he was driving he didn't see then this check engine light came on the dashboard saying that the pressure was low and he didn't check the oil pressure and he kept on driving and driving and driving and then he didn't realize until the engine shut down because it was already damaged it was already gone and then he thought it was something simple but it wasn't something simple it was then the engine got destroyed so definitely after knowing all this the driver is the responsible for this problem i don't say that the driver is completely responsible because something broke something probably the oil uh suction manifold broke because they're plastic or probably one of the o-rings gave up or the oil pump something happened to the oil pump and that's the reason why the oil dropped so it's not fully his fault because there is a mechanical issue but his fault is because he didn't pay attention to the actual reading of the truck so he could stop as soon as he saw the oil pressure drop he could stop immediately shut the engine off and you know what this engine has a low oil pressure call someone call the owner of the truck and say something and you know what I cannot drive this truck because the oil pressure is low no he didn't see that at all he kept on driving and driving and driving and driving until the engine got destroyed but uh sadly uh there is no uh, way to uh, easy fix on this engine because the crankshaft is the one that damages when this happens so uh, to repair this basically you have to remove the engine completely from the truck and after removing the engine completely you have to remove the crankshaft and hopefully just the rod bearings are the ones that are bad if it's just the rod bearings you can just uh, remove the uh, the crankshaft and place a new one reusing the same block but if the main bearings are damaged that is a big problem because uh, usually they, they spin over the block over the part where they stay on the on the uh on the main caps and you can i mean you can repair that but this i don't 
feel than that is right. You have to replace the block to have a better job. But if someone can do that, I mean, uh, everything is welcome. But anyway, uh, it is a super expensive fix because this is going to cost, if you repair the engine completely as it is, it's gonna cost around $25,000. And if you do like a, a half engine, just the bottom parts, leaving the head and top components, probably you wanna spend still around like, eighteen thousand dollars still doing all that. that but this is a lot of money this truck has one million miles it lasted one million miles and to prove that i want to show you here so here you can see the mileage the engine big number and the mileage see this is the mileage of the trucks one million one hundred and three three thousand miles so that is a lot of mileage for this truck it lasted that long a DD15 engine lasted 1 million miles. For all of you that think that a DD15 engine doesn't, like one, doesn't last 1 million miles, it does. And uh, it could last more than that, yes, but driver issue. So it wasn't because the engine went bad, it's because the driver paid attention. It was because the engine, something broke, mechanical broke, yes, but it wasn't fully 100% the engine problem. It was because the driver didn't pay attention of the machine information. But uh, anyway, pretty much this is all I have to share with you. This is just the basic information on how it is to find out the cause of the problem of this. If you for any reason you have a truck the same way as this one happened then for some reason it locked itself and you don't know how it happened you can come over here check the file codes check how many times the file code has been active and, and how many time and how many seconds that file code has been active and that way you can find out how how bad this flow is because the drivers are going to tell you this and that and that and that but you have to be very careful on that to investigate you know don't just say the drivers foul before before uh putting your hands in the information you have to have the information free to blame someone and uh if the information is right you have all the right to blame anybody but if you have you don't have the information don't do it so freeze just come over here check all the information and you know sometimes it's just a mechanical problem that just happened you know for no reason but the majority of cases is a driver then didn't pay attention but i don't say then uh it will happen to everybody i just say then you know like we have to pay more attention to prevent these kind of problems. Uh, you as an owner operator, you as a driver or as a mechanic, you have to pay attention to what you do because this can happen to anybody no matter what. But uh, just try to prevent that. That will uh, help you a lot in your pocket and everything else. But anyway, this is all I have to share with you. Um, if you have any questions about this video, you can use the comment section below and you can ask anything. You can share your opinions, experiences. What do you have to share about these kind of problems? You can share it too. Uh, or if you know about these uh, solutions or anything, you can also comment below. There is other people that wants to understand more about these drugs too. Um, if you wanna help my channel, you can use the description of this video where I have details how to uh, send support to my channels so I can continue making helpful videos, you know, the ones I'm doing and the ones I'm gonna do in the future for all of you about these machines. Like the video, that's important, subscribe, to the channel that is important as well and share it so that people can understand more about those machines. Thank you. Wow.